Greetings. In this video, I will describe a solution to a question posed by MathPickle.com involving regular octagons. Here we see a regular octagon. Notice that it has eight sides, all the same length, and it has eight angles, all having the same measure. Now we can connect all of the vertices with line segments to form a circuit. The easiest way to do this is to just draw all of the edges. But there are more complicated ways to join up the edge, the vertices. For example, we could do something like this where some of the line segments cut through the octagon. But still we're joining all the vertices of straight line segments into a single circuit. Now the question is can we draw a circuit going through all the vertices that has no parallel line segments. And we see that our previous example failed because we have these orange segments being parallel and these sort of gold segments are parallel. Well it turns out that it is impossible no matter how you draw a circuit through all the vertices of the octagon there's going to be two segments that are parallel and I'm going to show you the proof of this. The first step is to number the vertices from 0 to 7. Now we also want to attach labels to the segments. So each segment is going to get a number that's the sum of its endpoints. So the segment from 0 to 3 becomes 3, segment from 3 to 1 is labeled 4, the segment from 1 to 5 is labeled 6, and so on. We get 3, 4, 6, 7, 6, 10, 13, and 7. These add up to 56 in this case. Let's look at another circuit. Here's our simplest example of a circuit. All right, the sums are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 7. These numbers also add up to 56. Okay, does they always add up to 56? Yes, they do. The reason is, if we add up all of these segments, we're really adding all the vertices twice because each vertex belongs to two segments. Now the sum of the vertices is 28 and 2 times 28 is 56. So this is our magic number. No matter what circuit we draw through all the vertices, these numbers are going to add up to 56 every time. Okay, this is going to be the key idea we're going to use. Now let's look at all possible segments joining the vertices of this octagon. If we look closely at this, we see that there are eight possible directions to take. And this is direction 1, direction 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. Now, each direction has its own sums. So in this direction, the sums are either 1, or 9. In direction 2, the sums are either 2 or 10. Direction 3, the sum is either 3 or 11, and so on. In direction 4, the sum is either 4 or 12. Notice the higher number is 8 more than the lower number. Direction 5, it's 5 or 13. Direction 6, the sum is 6 well, we can't have a sum of 14, that's too big. So when the direction is 6, the sum is also 6. Direction is 7, the sum is also 7. When the direction is 8, the sum is also 8. Okay, now we have 8 different directions, and we need 8 segments. So if no two segments are parallel, that means that we are going to have one segment from each direction, we're going to pick one number from each row here. And if we pick one number from each row, it's going to add up to 36 plus a multiple of 8. 
because the numbers from 1 through 8 add up to 36, but each time we pick one of the higher of the two numbers, we add 8 to the sum. But remember, the sum was supposed to be 56, so we have an equation. 36 plus 8k equals 56, where k is the number of times we pick the higher of the two sums. If we solve this equation, we get k equals 2 and a half. Okay, well 2 and a half doesn't make sense. That's saying we picked the higher number, the higher sum, 2 and a half times. That's impossible. So it's a contradiction. It's not possible to draw a circuit through the vertices of the regular octagon so that no two segments are parallel. That concludes my proof. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.